So this is going to be a simple and a quick guide on how we can install the latest AMD FSR 3.1.2 mode frame generation using the OptiScaler mode and for now the OptiScaler mode is the most compatible and the best FSR frame generation mode you can get and don't use the older Luke FZ or Uniscaler mode because the OptiScaler works the best in most of the games for now. So the mode is going to work on almost any newer game being released and even older games which have dx12 and dlss so for just an example i'm going to take gotham knights in this video but of course the tutorial follows for universal for many games i'm just taking gotham knights as an example so let's get started so first of all i have provided the link in the description box to directly download the mode and i have basically modified all the files already so you all have to do just simply extract the file and copy paste all the files from the OptiScaler folder to the main game folder of your game and the main game folder is where the main exe is located like you can see here gotham knights.exe is located here with all the main files so simply paste drag and drop the mode inside here and that's all the mode is now installed here you can see there is another thing called fake nvapi.zip you can use this if we have a amd gpu if you have an AMD GPU, this is basically anti-lag version 2 and it can help to boost the responsiveness and reduce the latency of the game. But only use this if you have an AMD GPU. Also copy paste inside the main game folder. For NVIDIA, just simply copy paste the main files of the OptiScale folder inside the main game folder and that's all. That's pretty simple to install the mode. Now we have to go inside the game to activate it. So now we have installed the mode inside our game and now we have to activate it. So simply head over to the graphics settings of your game, whichever game you installed the mode in. Simply go to the graphics settings and select the NVIDIA DLSS option. Now the DLSS option will be available for you regardless of your GPU. The DLSS option should be here enabled after we install the mode. And make sure to select AMD DLSS only. Don't select AMD FSR or any other feature. Otherwise, the mode will not going to work. Make sure to select AMD DLSS. And now we are here. I'm going to enable the FPS counter to show how the mode works. So now you can see we are having just 40 FPS. The frame generation is still not activated. So simply click insert key on your keyboard. And if you're on laptop, press Fn plus insert key. And now this will bring this menu where we have to enable the frame generation. First thing on the top, click on AMD FSR 3.x and simply click apply. It will it will first of all apply the AMD FSR 3 and then simply tick on the frame generation. And now you can see the FPS. It boosted to 90 from 40 to 90 FPS. And now click on FG HUD fix and click on FG allow async. And basically these features are necessary like the HUD fix is because the the on screen item here like you can see the icons on the screen will flicker and glitch if you don't enable this feature so make sure to enable it and fg allow async gives a little bit more fps in some time and like we can now close the menu press insert key again and now you can see we're getting at 80 fps and the frame generation is working but you can see the the icons on the screen are still a little bit glitching and like it's still glitching a little bit but this can be fixed because i'm using an fps overlay and that's why this happening if you're not using any kind of fps overlay to show the fps the overlay the hud icons will not glitch like i can show here if i disable it and now you can see all clean there is no glitching and no no problem in the icons and the game is working fine above 60 fps with the frame generation and make sure not to lock the fps using any other things and that's all in my opinion this would work on almost any new game and like in your case in your game if you simply click on frame generation and game crashes well that can be because the game is not yet supported or there can be some issues at this mode is not perfect but still the best you can get currently so if you face any kind of problems and any kind of glitches so you can know that the mode is still not uh, completely compatible with that game so but it still works in most of the games here and if you want you can try different modes like mdfsr 2.2 and xe double ss if you want or you can even choose dlss but these are all the settings you need and that's all in my opinion this should work and that's all thanks for watching and bye